you want to make sure that you prime it by rinsing it out um, three times with water and three times with solution. After that, you're going to um, transfer some of it into a new container by lifting your finger on it. You're going to stop it again, read your move volume, which is at right at 8. Um, so after that, you're going to write down 8 and subtract it to get the volume transfer. Okay, to use the pipette, you're going to grab the bowl and you're going to squeeze it and place it on the top of the pipette. And to drop solution, you put the tip of the pipette in and slowly release the bowl until you get your indefinite amount. And then you're going to pull it out, release, and place your finger on the top of the pipette. And then to read the pipette, you're going to look at the meniscus, which occurs because of water tension, and read the bottom of the meniscus. So we're going to say this is 4.15. Oh, okay. And then to release the water, or the solution, just um, take your thumb off the, uh, off the top of the pipette. Until you have your indefinite amount, and then put your finger back on it. And again, read the bottom of the meniscus, which is at 8.15. And then you're going to um, take your final volume, minus your initial volume, to uh, calculate how much solution was transferred into the other container. which occurs because of water tension. You're gonna to go to the bottom of it and figure out that's about four, okay, like 4.63, okay? So then you're gonna write that down. Six, three as your first volume. All right, then you're gonna release however much you need into the other container. Okay, not that much. All right, and now you're gonna go back and look at the meniscus again and see your next amount. Seven point seven. Okay, it's like what's that? Seven point seven eight. Seven eight. And then you're gonna calculate the difference, which so that's your final volume. So what? When you look at the right, right there. Right. So when you look at the pipe. Okay. 